So one of the reasons they picked you were because of your nails. They said your nails need help. And the color, <laughs> the color that you picked wasn't flattering for you at all. So normally, what color attracts you? Where would you go and be like, I want this color? I would probably pick this purple or this pink right here. Purple and pink, okay. <laughs> well, we'll show it to Veronica and see what she says. Oh. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. My name is Veronica and I'll be doing your manicure today. Okay, nice to meet you, Veronica. Is this your first time? I hope this is my first time. So what do you like to do for fun? I like riding motorcycles with my husband on the weekends. Oh, well you really don't need like long nails because you can get them hung up or caught on anything. What's your profession? I'm a med tech at Pediatrics Associates. So that means you work with kids? I do. Oh, oh they don't want to scratch those babies? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the colors that you chose today? Yes, ma'am. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I picked out another color. I see you have a purple and a pink. It's kind of more subtle, kind of a mixture of both. Okay. And we're going to do a spa manicure on you today so we can exfoliate and soften your skin and your cuticles. Alrighty. Okay. So how do you like your nails to shape? I don't normally... This is it. This is what I normally do. Okay, well, we're going to cut mm -hmm. them down and cut them over because we don't want to snip it or snag it and hit any of those babies in the eyes or anything. Okay. Let's go check on Renee. Come on. Girl, what are you doing laying on the job? Just having a little quiz now, Cookie. <laughs> Mika says she wanted to check on Renee. This isn't wait, checking on her. Check it on Renee. Oh. Okay, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're full from eating quiz nose. They sponsored our lunch today and they're, you know, they're on airline and all men. Quagmire. Oh, men and Airline and all men. Okay, girls, you should enjoy your cookies from Quiznos. It was really good. And I'm going to check on Renee this way. Okay, so basically what I did, you pretty much saw what I did, just round brushed it uh -huh. to try to try to give you a little bit of volume. Now I'm just going in and, and just kind of curling it to smooth it out. But a lot of um, people, and as yourself, are like you said, mm, I've seen a round brush, <laughs> but that don't mean I'm gonna use it, and and that's fine. You know, if if you really don't know how to use a round brush, you can also dry it and then go in and kind of like bump it or flat iron it flat iron the ends but I because you came your hair was so flat you know what I'm saying when you mm -hmm. came in I just want to give you a little bit of lift it's a little volume to it not a whole lot so once I show you here I always say messy hair is usually how you like that. You like it? Yeah. Who do I go over? Definitely different. Definitely different, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. So basically, what you want to do usually, if you want to create more volume with your hair, you can get a big bumper, and you can use the big bumper. A lot of people also use the um, the electric flat iron as well, you know. But um, because your hair is pretty much straight but your hair is also very heavy you know it's kind of kind of thick in there so you can use a, a a flat iron and you just have to know how to bevel it to make it round or you can use a big maybe like a three or four inch uh, curling iron as well to create this beautiful style that you have yeah and we know that your her, your natural part is really here mm -hmm. but I wanted to kind of change it to just give you a little bit of 
softness around the face versus putting a part here in the middle. With your hair being so long, mm -hmm. the the natural part looked it looked pretty. It looked okay. But now since we changed your style, we gave you a new look. Um, your color came out beautiful. I just went ahead and colored it your natural hair color and gave you some highlights and it looks really beautiful. What do you think? I think I like it. You think you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I like it too. Mm -hmm. Great. Hey Mika. Hi. So her hair looks beautiful. Now she just needs some help with her makeup. Alright. Are you the girl for the job? Absolutely. Alright All right. Renee. Hi, Mika. Hi, Renee. Nice to meet you. Your hair is gorgeous. Thank you. Do you love it? I do. Oh, okay. Well, now that your hair is ready, I'm going to show you something really simple, really easy to get you going on, on making yourself look beautiful every day. You're okay. in great hands. I'm going to leave you guys to go at it. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Miss Renee, your hair is gorgeous. So Thank you. what I want to do is give you something really quick and easy to... Um, tools to give you to transform yourself on a daily basis but first I want to know how much time do you plan on spending on doing your makeup every morning? 10 and 15 minutes. That's perfect. Okay. We can do that because your eyes are so so beautiful. You can minimize um, makeup on your eyes by just doing one or two colors. It'll really help them stand out. Your bone structure, your cheeks are very beautiful. I'm going to play those up a little bit and your skin is gorgeous so we're going to give you I'm just going to give you a soft youthful glow make you look younger all right you ready I am ready okay okay let's get started I have a quick tip for you. Just want you to know that your makeup does expire. If you turn your package upside down and look on the bottom, if you see a triangle that has a number in it, that number lets you know either how many months you have or how many years you have. So once it's expired, throw it away. Remember, practice, practice, practice. You look wonderful. How do you feel? Great. Oh, well you have a week to go home and work on your makeup and your hair and to help out with that, My Small My Way and Ulta have donated $400 worth of products to help you go from oh no she didn't to oh yes she did. Stay tuned next week where you'll see her whole complete transformation. <sighs> well. The hardest part about this whole process was having to get up earlier and put on my makeup and do my hair. I used to just pop out the bed, get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, brush my hair, throw my clothes out, and I was out the door. Now I've learned a whole new process. The haircut I got is a fun and easy haircut. You can curl it where it's straight, or just blow your eyes and do nothing at all. Today, I'm curling it. Back is always the hard part. You need an extra arm or eyes behind my head or something. A little hairspray. Be sure to watch again next Tuesday morning at 6.30 to see what happens when the stylist at Lane Bryant forced Renee to go from hiding in baggy scrubs and tees to a glamorous new look. To enjoy behind-the-scenes footage or to nominate someone for Season 2 of Oh No, She Didn't, visit MakeoverForWomen.com.